What's going on guys? My name is Chris. Welcome back to more Souls Born. The last should be the last uh, video for Dark Souls 2. So I went and did some reading. I read up on uh, Ava. Ava is the only thing I really read up on. Apparently, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this are the ones who have played it. Apparently you can um, decloak her and the item I picked up was the one that did it. Like I picked up a, if you remember back to the last video if you watched it, that flaming altar I came up on and that key or whatever it was called. Why don't we go look at it real quick. This one, Eye of the Priestess, not really a key, but allows one to see the unseen. So apparently the trick to Ava is getting Ava visible. So fuck, pretty much. Seeker of fire, what do you see in the flames? Find the crown and your the crown's hope seek as befits you. Do I have to equip a crown? <laughs> Seeker of fire, I see you've subdued another one of the father of the abyss spawn. The abyss once had, and yet, traces of its existence. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread up. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. The feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for, driven by insatiable lust. One day, fire will fade. Men will be free from it. All this dialogue seems to be new. Oh, what's this? I have another crown? What? Okay. I didn't know there was a cutscene. Okay, so that's it. Huh, do I get any benefit from that? I don't know. But cool, we got some more dialogue. Let's go finish this game off, shall we? I'm in the, I'm in the mood for a fight I know. And I know Nishandra. In fact, she's ridiculously easy. What I like to do to bait her attacks I think I could go straight there. I don't think I have to go back to her throne. We'll try it this way. We'll try going straight there. If I have to go back to the throne, I'll like, I'll like cut it out. You know what I mean? This is going to be a short video anyway, I'm thinking. Wrong way. I wish I could just detect that you have it in your inventory. I guess I don't need the lingering ring. The Nishandra fight is not going to last more than 90 seconds. So what I usually do with her is I'll bait her uh, her long distance attack. And then you can run up and get her. You can run up and tag her a bunch of times. Her beam attack leaves her painfully unguarded. Painfully vulnerable. It's ridiculous. No summons for this fight. Just going to do it our normal way. That fog being there is promising in that I don't think I'll have to go back to her throne because I think she's waiting. 
I don't think you have to go back to the throne anyway, but I could be wrong. To be honest, I'm glad I switched uh, switched my build halfway through. The Twin Blade build has been a lot of fun, and going Faith so I could do Sunlight Blade has been uh, even more fun. Speaking of Sunlight Blade, shall we light it up? Now, I heard the the extra boss fight is actually in the uh, Throne of Want, so let's do this. Damn, I do a lot of damage. Why are those not... Why are those not messing with me? They're supposed to... Oh boy. This didn't curse me at all, what the hell? What an easy fight. What a ridiculous easy... Why didn't those curse me? I'm going to assume that I need to attack him here. Oh, wait, he's already... It's an automatic fight, I guess. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Is that random? I do pretty good damage. Oh shit. Oh boy. Alright, I seem to be able to dodge those by running. Alright, somehow he gets some hyper armor. Ouch. Back up. Wow, this is an easy fight. Uh, just go hardcore mode on me. Need to get away from the ledge there. That's it? That was it? Hmm. Yeah, you did, buddy. You know, I've done that, that ending so many times. Why don't we just do this one? Yeah, why not, right? See what happens. Everybody else knows the other ending.
Soldier on. Good man. That's creepy. There it is. I guess it's known as Scholar of the First Sin, even though I uh, I didn't purchase the extra one. Maybe it's like the PS4 version is the one that does the uh, repositioning and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I would have to say that gameplay wise, I definitely prefer Dark Souls 2 over Dark Souls 1. Story wise, Dark Souls 1 is a little more coherent, if you can call a you know, Souls, Soulsborne game, coherent story wise. You ha you really have to piece it together. But I enjoyed this run through and this game is very long. Now, the third DLC that I ran through, I'll probably never revisit unless I'm uh, playing with somebody else. So take that for what it's worth. Pretty much my only major disappointment in this game, like as far as like Shine of a Mana, I mean, you can get through it real quick. There's a couple other dodgy areas, but that shit was just, I literally just wanted to run through and I've never felt that way in a long time. I haven't felt that way in a long time about a Souls game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, up next is Bloodborne. Now, why did I do these DLCs? Why did I do them uh, in one video? Like even though they're long videos? Well, I don't know if you've been counting, but the next video should be video 1000 on my channel, which is, I don't know, for me it's a pretty big achievement. And I wanted uh, the 1000th video to be probably my favorite in the Soulsborne series, which is Bloodborne. Bloodborne is probably, hell, I would say probably my favorite game of all time. So I thought that would be a nice little, uh, nice little novel thing to do. If you didn't watch the DLC videos, I, I get it, they're long. Even if even after I chop them up, you know, they're long. So if you didn't feel like dealing with them, and especially if they're considering they're uh, blind, more or less, except for, I guess the sunken one wasn't blind, but the other ones more or less were. So if you didn't watch them, I get it. But uh, moving on, we got Bloodborne, and I'm good at that. See you guys, peace.